top. This is going to be a pretty exciting and probably a long video. Probably the longest unboxing I've ever done. Um, this is my import from the UK. It's going to have, <coughs> I have a list right here on the top of the box that shows exactly what's coming in. Um, we have eight. <laughs> Never mind. I don't really understand what it's all it says because I see gay code. Oh, please, God, tell me this is not mine. All right, we'll see. All right, guys. Yes, I'm going to bring the box down because it's going to be a little difficult. You know, I'll have it always in front of me. I've seen these lately, these uh, kind of like cooler packs, pro packs that are pretty awesome. Uh, these are cool packs, in case it gets too hot. Two cool packs. Start off with a little illustration. A lot of newspaper. Now what we got here is we're starting off this one from. Oh, this is my genetic strife from Marcus Metz. Beautiful baby guys. This little guy is awesome. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, great size, amazing structure. Marcus Metz is probably one of my favorite breeders out there. Has an amazing, amazing line of animals. Top, top breeder out there. Highly suggest him. Poor guy's a little cold. All right, no. This is a, a genetic stripe. Het trans female. I have all the information from uh, Marcus. I'll have to get all that. But, uh, that's one of them. Okay. This is uh, a few of the collections from the, the wholesale that I bought. They're a little small, but I'll get them up to size, but they're really nice. This is a, a trans hypo. Very beauty. Very pretty. Got a bunch in here. Uh, I guess they use wood chips or sod in there to hold them. But we got one, two, three, four, five. Five in here. Beautiful ones in there. Inside here, <laughs> it's like they're hiding in this woods or the all this wood chips. Good God. We got a bunch in here. They're uh, little guys. They'll have to take a little time to grow. Got some really nice hypos, citruses, <clears throat> some uh, little head transes. I can see that already in that one. We got some uh, pretty transes. Oh, that one's pretty. Great looking leathers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you go inside the mulch, you find some more little leathers or head transes. Oh, yeah. They're, they're in here somewhere. It's like looking for waxies inside of a mulch. It's weird. Or that wood, you know. I don't get it. But, I guess the wood kind of keeps them warm in travel. And then we got some bigger ones over here. Oh, wow. You guys are way bigger. Look at this. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. Look at that. Hypo leatherbacks. Gorgeous. Oh, this is amazing right here, guys. Wow, look at those colors. That's a beautiful baby right there. Wow, look at that tail. Wow. Alright, okay. Get back in your box. Get back inside. Get back in, guys. They're, they're lively. That's one good thing. Alright guys. We got some more inside here, some more transies. Wow, that's a really clean trans. A little hungry, but I'll get some weeby bellies on them. That's a beautiful little trans. Oh wow. 
little nip on the tail, but you know, you got a lot in here, you expect that. We got this little nice tiger boring leather bag. Oh, just finished shedding his tail. <laughs> gorgeous little guy. Another little trans. Gorgeous. Still hungry. Looks like the transies are the ones that are a little more hungry than the, the ones that are a little normal. Oh, that's pretty patterns on that. <clears throat> and these guys will be all for sale. Oh, well, not all of them. I will be keeping a few. And um, they will be available. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make, because there are a lot of here that are not related, so I'll be able to offer you guys, like, non-relating breeding pairs. Ooh, another G-Stripe, guys. Marcus Metz again. This guy is extremely beautiful. This one's probably going to go to my buddy. My buddy Brandon. He's going to have Island, uh, what was it, uh, Lake Island Reptiles. Kind of helped him with that name. I kind of like it. It's a beautiful red, visible trans female genetic stripe. The patterns are so beautiful. Marcus, you do great work, buddy. This is some beautiful stuff. I've been dying, dying for genetic stripe for so long. I'm not going to keep these because Marcus promised me some more for the September show. So I will be getting some more for the uh, September expo in Ham. And uh, on that show, I'll have some more genetic stripes that I'll be importing as well for Marcus. And uh, hopefully a bunch of, uh, you know, wholesales from him as well because his wholesales are a lot better off. And then we got another genetic stripe, guys. Oh, this is so beautiful. See, the ones I got from Marcus are all big size, which is really awesome. Really, really awesome. Okay. Look at those perfect stripes. What's up, baby? Oh, the babies. It's a citrus. Look at those beautiful colors, guys. I'm in love with these G-stripes. Look at that. It's a dominant gene, co-dominant, I'm sorry. So if you have one visible, you can produce more. This one, beautiful. I love the citruses. I don't know which one he's going to pick. I think he's going to get that red one. I would, but I love my citruses. Oh, another G-stripe. Marcus, man, you sent me some beauties here. Oh, it looks like they, they pooped on a long trip. So that means they were nice and full. Let me get that poopy guy there, too. Those containers are kind of cool. Another beautiful G-stripe. Look at the reds on head trans male, head hypo. Look at that. The fire in his head is so beautiful. Oh, babies. Come on. All right, come on, put the tail back in, guy. Come on, give me the tail. So, I don't even know how many I've gotten now so far. We got four here, eight, 12. There's really eight, 10 in there. Oh, look at this little guy getting all flared out. What'd you get mad for? Oh, it's okay, boy. You'll be on a minute. All right. What we got? Some more of these. These are like assorted. These are the ones I have to raise a little while. Because the little guy was stuck in the mulch. And, uh, you know, I mean, they're, they're, they're not tiny. And I do have to apologize to uh, Sanders. I kind of went off a little bit on them. I mean, they are small. I mean, I, I personally would not ship an animal this small, but that's just me, you know. But this is pretty little, you know, guys. I mean, uh, I'll get them big. I'll get them big regardless. I, I didn't plan on flipping these guys or anything. I was actually planning on keeping them for a little while for, you know, quarantine reasons and making sure that they're healthy and thriving before I offer them to you guys and stuff. And um, But some of them are a little bit on the small side. I mean, I guess that's what you get when you buy wholesale. But they're pretty. They are pretty. And Sanders, I do appreciate this. I, 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 this is a great, a great job you did, sir. You helped me out greatly, and you've given me some really nice animals. I do apologize again for my rant last night. This is my first time buying a large bulk from overseas people, so I got a little concerned when I seen a very small animal. This one right here, actually, <clears throat> I remember clearly. Kind of reminds me of one of my Dunner patterns. Look at that guy right there. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, wow. They are quick ones, aren't they? Oh, and they're just cold. Oh, they're just cold. We'll get them in some more. Oh, 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 wow. Well, they're, they're lively. That's for sure. Okay, okay. Well, we stopped that one. <laughs> a little nip in the tail, but that's okay. Still a very beautiful animal. Oh, no. Okay, well, I spoke a little soon. These are pretty small. I mean, these are extremely small. And so are those. Good God. I mean, that is not 
something that should be shipped ever. Something that fits on my fingertip should not be shipped overseas. That's a long trip without food or water. I guess like I said, you gotta give it the good and the bad. <clears throat> These are gonna be a little more work and for all you that know about breeding, not all animals survive. Especially little morphs like transes and stuff. They don't all survive when it comes to breeding. So when you buy a bunch of little ones like that, your survival rate could be a little lower than you think. Especially when you're dealing with morphs, like trans. These are a little bit bigger and I like them. Look at that. Gorgeous little leather bags. Got some chumps on them. But at least we're going to give them some good homes over here, right guys? Look at this poor dehydrated thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. God! Alright, it's gonna be soaking time soon, guys, don't worry. <sighs> Some pretty blues on this one. That's a perfect little guy, just a little hungry. What we got here? It's a long tail on that one, for real. But don't worry, Daddy Weeby will get you fat. Daddy Weeby will fill you up. I, I feed heavy guys, don't worry. I feed very heavy. We're gonna fix this all, don't worry. And another container of tiny babies. But like I said guys, you know, it's what you have to deal with sometimes when you work with people overseas. And you really can't say nothing to them. Because hold on a sec. thousands of miles away and you can go ahead and complain to them and they're just gonna go ahead and give you the French finger you know I mean that's just how it works that's the unfortunate part of business that goes along with this business I mean good god guys this one won't even open his eyes <laughs> look at this lifeless that's not that animal should have never been shipped but it was shipped look at this lifeless this is wrong. So wrong in many levels. This is why I got upset with you, Sanders. Because this kind of animal should have never been shipped. And I have no guarantee that these animals will survive. This animal is not going to survive, so you understand. So you understand. That, that is just cruelty to send an animal that small. Okay? That's just wrong. That right there is a baby, man. That baby should have never left any facility without being bigger than at least that. These right here, I understand are good. These are understandable. I raise a little bit bigger, fine. This is not right. But hey, you live and you learn. And in the future, you don't do business with people that do you like that. You know, when you, when you spend over $4,000 with them alone, you expect a little more than just a baby that's dying. I appreciate that one. Was that the bonus? Was that the, uh, the overcount? <clears throat> In case some of them passed away, like that one does. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, uh, I'm happy to see that at least 99% of them are making it survival. You know, I got some. Apologize for that. My cats are going crazy. I have some that are looking very weak. I don't know. I'll work on them. I'll take care of them. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'll do some updates on them as they're getting healthier and fatter and growing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep your comments and concerns. Bye. So after uh, watching the video, you guys really couldn't see them as good as I expected them. So I'm going to give you a quick overlook again. These are the Marcus Meds G Stripes. The citrus. Look at that pretty face. They came out so beautiful. And this guy in here. <clears throat> and then we got the G-Stripe here. This one's the one with the most phenomenal patterns. Again, thank you, Marcus. <clears throat> these guys are beautiful. All right, and then we're going over to these guys, the Hypos. Let's see if I can open them up and not have them run everywhere. The Hypos and some really nice leather bags. Like, look at this guy right here. Come here. Come on, buddy. Come on now. I like those citrus colors on the back on that one. Probably going to be a keeper there. Some really beautiful colors. 
They're in shed, so they're not really showing too much luster. Or I'll do a, uh, I'll do a photo shoot and uh, I'll try to do them like in 70 different kind of color, uh, lightings, so that way you guys can see them in all kind of color and stuff, and not say that I'm messing with their colors. But you gotta get the little angry baby. You gonna eat that? You gonna eat that? You gonna eat it? Come on, baby. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. And we got some transies underneath here, little red transies. Some really nice stuff. We got some more underneath here. These look really cute too. Look at them. We got little transes. Beautiful leather backs. And get some other ones. And uh, yeah. you got more. These are the little babies. Unfortunately, these are the ones that are gonna need some work and stuff. I don't want to open the container because they are very. Some of them are very lively and they're running around. Another full container of the little ones. That's the unfortunate one that doesn't want to wake up. That was the one that makes me upset. Oh well. Now some more of the bigger ones. I don't know if I showed you guys these yet. Yeah, I did. No, wait. Look, look at those. Beautiful colors. And then what we got? What we got? Got some more over here. And like I said, the uh, the genet the Trans are the ones that are a little bit under in the size and weight. And some more over here. These guys have some beautiful striping. Look at those barings. Some nice transes. All in all, in really good shape. I mean, a few nips here and there. And I mean, you gotta expect that with so many animals in there. But uh, all in all, they are in decent shape. <clears throat> Besides the baby babies, two full containers of that. Let's count how many I got of those. Got three back there, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in this container, ten itty bitties, and then I got three, six, nine, ten more itty bitties. So <laughs> out of the sixty animals, twenty are tiny. Twenty are tiny, tiny babies. Well, I mean, was that forty percent almost? I guess it's not bad, but uh. No, that's not 40. Good lord. I just did some horrible math. But, um, yeah. These guys are here. I hope you guys enjoy them. Uh, I'll show you updates as they get bigger. Bye, guys.